you all hope you all are good so welcome back so this is the important video where i'm going to show how we can set up airflow so let's begin so before installing airflow we need to say uh, um, whether our prerequisites are met or not so first request a uh, prerequisite is python so the python needs to be installed and the version has to be uh, above 3.7 then comes pip and then comes windows subsystem for linux that is wsl so wsl plays an important role where we will be setting our uh, airflow then comes the other parts uh, such as virtual environment so in order to uh, separate our libraries and failing due to dependencies we are going to create a separate virtual environment so let's begin and follow step by step in order to set up airflow so let's so just open your wsl and uh, linux distribution earlier we have set up ubuntu so we'll be installing all our uh, libraries there itself so let's open so so first we are going to run this command so i've copied the command sudo apt get update so it might take some time now let's copy the second command where we are installing uh, pip press y and your pip will get installed now let's copy our third command where we are setting up uh, where we are installing Uh, Python virtual environment. now let me paste it now so after these uh, libraries are installed let's move to the next slide where we are setting up our uh, python virtual environment so so this command we are setting up uh, virtual environment name uh, airflow env so when you will click on ls you can see uh, your environment will be created now we will be activating our environment with uh, airflow env slash bin slash activate so here you can see you are now inside our virtual environment now okay we need to set airflow home parameter in bash rc so let's copy it and paste it so just um uh, move a bit down and just copy paste the following okay what you can do just press right click and it will be copied so here you can see we have set airflow home equal to c slash user slash username so we have a user name sriw so here you can replace with your username and then airflow so in order to save this what you are going to do press control and s this will save it and you can close it using control plus x now yeah we need to install 
pip install uh, pip install apache airflow so here only we are going to install airflow no other libraries are being installed so here you can see apache airflow uh, installation has begun so it might take some time let me pause this video and come back when the, its installation is complete and now as you can see installation of airflow is com uh, is complete now we are going to move to the next command that is initially uh, initializing the database so let me copy it and paste it so this will initialize your database now uh, we will create an admin user so what we are going to do so we will run a command airflow users create username i am creating the airflow user name with admin password as admin you can provide first name last name and then role so i am creating an admin user and you can provide your email id so let me copy the command i have just copy pasted here and let me paste it so here you can see i have copied it and you have uh, you can see uh, the log user admin is created with role admin now uh, only two commands are left where we will be setting our web server and our scheduler so using this command what we are doing we are uh, we are setting up web server running web server on port 8080 in the attached mode so here you can see web server is now being set up and now we are gonna start our scheduler let me copy it and paste it here you can see your um, scheduler has been started so now moving next so you can see uh, now we are going to check our uh, uh, airflow web server is available at localhost 8080 because we are running airflow on port 8080 so let uh, open your chrome or any web browser install just type localhost and 8080 so now you can see this is the airflow ui and you will be directed with username and password so here you're gonna enter admin username and password so as we seen earlier we have set our admin username with username as admin and password as well as admin so let me provide it and click on sign in so you can see now you are uh, inside your uh, airflow ui with all your dags in pause state you can see zero are uh, active we can uh, see there are some already predefined dags present which we can disable it using airflow dot uh, cfg file and you can see let me let me show you so what you can do you can just uh, open another instance of your uh, Linux distribution by clicking on the icon and pressing sh shift plus icon so you can see a new window will be open and even when you will plus uh, type ls you can see a airflow folder has been created so when you will go inside airflow you can see all your folder will be created so here you can see your logs folder is created where all your logs will be saved then comes the airflow.configuration file where all your configuration are saved so here you can see your airflow is being completely installed 
and is available on port 8080.